everybody. My name is Heidi. I am Brian's lovely wife. He has asked me to do a book review on a book that I recently read on the Appalachian Trail. It is called Becoming Odessa, Epic Adventures on the Appalachian Trail, and it is written by Jennifer Farr Davis. I thoroughly enjoyed this book. It was very easy to read. I could not put it down. Uh, even though I've only been dreaming about someday hiking the Appalachian Trail, I could clearly identify with her and felt like I was actually the one on the trail. She starts off her journey in Spring at Springer Mountain, Georgia, uh, all the way to Katahdin in Maine. Um, she writes about trail magic. She writes about being completely tired. She writes about fun and interesting people and people that's maybe not so interesting. Um, trail magic is uh, where you find unexpected food left on the trail for you. One time she got to the end of a trail where there was a sign pointing, you know, through hikers this way and she gets to a campground where there's a table set up with all kinds of food cooking. A lady sticks her head out of a camper and says, hey, come get you a plate, get you two, get you three. Um, and it's something that some people do that kind of gives you a little pick-me-up and some encouragement for you to continue hiking on the trail. She meets a man named David Horton on the trail and he actually set the speed record for the Appalachian Trail back in 1991. At the time she doesn't realize it but runs into him again later. Um, she also writes about um, day hikers and weekenders on the trail um, who, like it says, they're maybe just hiking for a day or maybe they're there for the weekend. And she may have had a really tough day hiking in the cold, hiking in the rain, and getting to a shelter. And it's packed with weekenders and day hikers, which, you know, is maybe not a problem, except for she ends up having to pitch her tent in the rain, in the dark, and, and it's cold. And, you know, thinking that they're just spending one night. She's already hiked all day. She's here for, for months on end. So you kind of get frustrated about day hikers and, and weekenders on the trail. Um, she also writes um, countless stories of meeting fun and interesting people, some people not so interesting. She meets a guy named Moot, who at first seems intellectual, you know, and they, they hike together off and on. And uh, finally she decides that, you know, she really wants to continue hiking on her own, can't get rid of the guy. So she decides, okay, she'll get a head start, get up way early in the morning. He always seems to catch up. She tries to hide behind a rock one time, or she ends up telling him she's having girl problems and really, you know, should be left alone. But he ends up being so understanding because he's got a sister, you know, so he's he's all into what's, what's going on. Um, needless to say, it's a very exciting journey. Lots of ups, lots of downs. Uh, you can clearly identify and relate with her. Definitely, definitely a must read. Um, I would give this book five out of five stars. Uh, there'll be a link down in the bottom to Amazon if you're interested. In fact, not even if you're interested, it's an absolute must. So go ahead and check this out. And then also, Brian is going to do a review on this DVD that we watched on the trail. It's called 2,000 Miles to Maine. So be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching.